Hello everyone, my name is Zhen Xiao from Alibaba Cloud. Today I would like to share our session High Density Metal Tenants Bare Metal Cloud. This is actually one of projects in Alibaba Cloud called Xdragon, which kicked off around three years ago. And the project now already online, and if you are interested, you can try it out from our cloud anytime. If you have any questions, please kindly send us the email which shows on the front. Before we talk about the bare metal cloud, the first the first question is why we would like to develop Xdragon. We also call it bare metal hive in our paper. Xdragon bare metal cloud is actually a hardware software hybrid system that enables the users to benefit from the native CPU and memory usages, and also the ability to access the cloud network and storage infrastructures from a software-defined virtual device. These virtual backend devices are emulated by Biometal Hypervisor, which is our highly customized. The first reason we designed Xdragon is for security and isolation. <clears throat> As we know, virtualization is self-restrained, isolated, and secured by hypervisor in most of usage scenarios. However, such isolation is enforced mostly by software. They still share the same CPU and memory in system. This resource sharing gives a chance to mature guests to attack the host and other VMs. For example, we know recently the side channel attacks. The best way to reduce this attacking service is using separate hardware for each guest. That is how bare metal cloud is created. While all in bare metal servers are not enough, people want to have a low cost service also. 70% of instances in our Alibaba cloud are small instances. The small means less CPU cores, less memory required. So the second design purpose is to support metal tenants. The more guests we support in one bare metal server, the more cheap for our customers. Xdragon to reduce cost by supporting multiple guests in single server with physical CPU and memory isolated for each guest. The third reason is for single thread performance. Nowadays in data center, we use big cores for all types of servers. <clears throat> These Intel Xeon processors tend to provide more cores in parallel, however, lower base clock. So the i7 processors is much powerful than data center processors. With Xdragon, we use separate computer boards in front end, which can adopt any type of processors other than basic server. So Core i7, Core i5, E3, AMD, or even ARM processors can be used in the computer board. The last reason is manageability. The guests of Xdragon instance could be connected into cloud infrastructures that share the benefits of elastic and the manageability of, of existing cloud. Biometal guests actually share the same images between KVM-based guests. From user's perspective, they are same instance expect biometal guests has native CPU and memory, while KVM-based KVM -based guests are virtual, virtual one. We will look at the details in following pages. Nowadays, there are two major types of instances in data center and the public cloud, VM-based cloud and the legacy single tenant bare metal cloud. Now we provide the third one, metal tenant bare metal cloud. We compare the three types of cloud from density, performance, manageability, isolation, and also security in paper. VM-based cloud has better density than other two. It can support as many as 100 guests in a single server. While Xdragon can support up to 16 bare metal guests, it is already covering most of scenarios. While Lexi bare metal server is only one person for one server. VM based cloud has its drawbacks. It has non ignorable virtualization overhead, limited single thread performance, weak isolation because of sharing resource, and more words with security concern due to side channel vulnerability find recently. To this end, bare metal cloud has become an emerging type of service in the public cloud, where a cloud user can run dedicated physical servers. 
The Bamato Cloud provides users with strong isolation <coughs> for and direct access to the hardware and more predictable performance. However, the, ex the existing Nexus single tenant Bamato servers has poor scalability, very low cost efficiency, and weak manageability because it can only list entire physical servers to the user and have no control over to the user programs after server is released. Our solution combines the advantages of above two types of clouds. It has not only good density and elastic, flexible manageability, but also native performance and a strong hardware level isolation and security. As the previous page already said, manageability is important. The design of Xtragon will not to change anything of cloud infrastructure. They share the same cloud VPC network, share the same cloud remote, remote storage system with KVM-based cloud. So the operators can use unified tools to maintain this too. In Xtragon, each BMW guest runs on its own computer board, which is a PCI extension board with dedicated CPU and memory models. By hosting up to 16 bare metal guests in single physical server, it can significantly improve the cross efficiency of bare metal service. From the left side diagram, you will see the architecture of KVM based and Xtragon based cloud are very similar. On the same base server, KVM based cloud provides the multiple guests with its QMA and KVM hypervisor, while Xtragon supports 16 computer boards. With our customized hardware software hyper system, we call it bare metal hypervisor. The both hypervisor provides IO subsystem by emulated virtual backend in base server. The difference between two is VM guests share CPU and memory resource each other, while bare metal guest has its dedicated native CPU and mem physical memory. That is how bare metal hypervisor better than KVM based. Let's have a close look at how bare metal hypervisor emulates the IO subsystem for bare metal guest. The left picture shows the overall system architecture of Xdragon. Each bare metal server consists of a base and the number of computer boards. The base is essentially a simplified base server with a low cost E5 CPU. Each computer board is a PCI extension board to the base. Its main components include the CPU, memory, PCI bus, and IO bound. IO bound is a piece of hardware implementation in FPGA. It interfaces with both PCI buses on the base and the computer board. On the PCI bus of the computer board, it emulates a number of virtual devices. From the guest per perspective, each virtual device is a normal PCI device that can be discovered, configured, and used. On the PCI bus of the base, IO bound exposes the backend of the virtual devices and provides the interface for the hypervisor to control the execution of the computer board. IO bound acts as a bridge between the virtual front end of the guest and the backend in the hypervisor. Spec specifically, it forwards the control and the Configure commands by the front end to the back end and shuffles the data between them via a built in DME engine. Currently, IO bound supports the virtual devices for network and storage. Virtual devices are modeled as PCI devices. A guest can discover, config, and use virtual devices through its virtual PCI bus. This allows the Xtragon to implement a virtual in a hardware and a software hybrid design. IO bound consists its front end and its back end models. The left picture shows the shadowing mechanism of IO bound, and the right side shows the back end working flow of IO bound. The front end of IO bound is attached to a PCI bus of the computer board. The FPGA logic in IO bound emulated a PCI interface for each virtual device. Access to this PCI interface by the guest is directly forwards to the backend for processing. In the virtualization system, the front and the backend exchange the data through a shared link buffer. However, this design does not work in our system because the front and the backend of the IO bound do not share the physical memory. Instead, they each have their own memory. To, to address that, 
L-bound creates a ring buffer for both hypervisor and guest. The ring buffer with the hypervisor is synchronized to the other ring buffer. When the data is added to the one of the ring buffer, it is copied to the another one by the DME inching automatically. The backend of L-bound handles the received IO request by packing and forwarding them to the corresponding cloud devices. <coughs> The design of our band focuses focus on how to connect our universal cloud infrastructure with how our, our performance. Similar to the KVM-based guest, in XDragon, all our requests are handled in the user space with vhost user protocol interfacing to our cloud infrastructure, that is, customize the DPDK vSwitch and the SPDK cloud storage. We use Pool mode driver for both DPDK and uh, SPDK. The pool mode driver pulls the virtual devices for our request instead of relying on the interrupt. That can significantly improve our performance by avoiding the interrupt latency. Now let's check out our evaluation data and the real business case. How XDragon performs better than those with those VM with the same configuration. The left side shows the bare metal guest compared with the native and the VM guest. The CPU performance of three systems were very close to each other. The overall performance of bare metal guest was about 4% faster than the physical machine, while the performance of VM was about 4% slower than the physical machine due to the overhead incurred by the resolution. For all the tests, the memory bandwidth of bare metal guest was almost identical to the physical machine, both close to the speed limitation of four memory channels. However, the, the best performance of VM guest can only reach to about 98% of bare metal guest on the load because of the memory resolution overhead. We also evaluated the network and the storage performance between bare metal guest and the VM guest. The packet receiving rate, we called it PPS, was the same for both types, but bare metal guest has more implied volatility. And in application level, they both have similar latency with socket proof testing. For remote storage performance, we run FIO benchmark to access the SSD banked cloud storage through 100 gigabit network. Both the bare metal guest and the VM guest saturate the storage limitation, for example, 25,000 IOPS. However, the bare metal guest has a lower leverage average latency, as shown in the right picture. Specifically, the bare metal guest was about 25% faster than the VM guest in average, and three, three times faster in the long tail latency. A more important experiment is how well XDragon performs for common applications used in the cloud. To this end, we run Nikonis, MaluDB, and Redis servers in bare metal guest and measured how fast they could respond to the query. For most of the popular applications, bare metal guest performed substantially better than virtualization based cloud servers in the cloud. Thanks everyone. We are actually very welcome people to join us. So if you are interested, please send us an email.